This week's homework, we're going to be focusing on space. So space is the area within or around objects. Explain what positive and negative space is. So positive space is within an object. Okay, a negative space is around the object. Okay, so in this task, we're going to be creating a collage. So you are going to be given a black sheet of paper. So on this paper, you are going to draw some shapes coming out of the edge. So there's an example at the top of the sheet here that you can look at. And they can come inside quite far. You can do some into the corners. So think about triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, ellipses, any shapes that you want to draw. Now I'm using a white pencil. If you don't have a white pencil, a light coloured pencil like blue will be suitable. Okay, so now that I've drawn my shapes, I'm going to get some scissors and I'm going to cut the shapes out one at a time. Okay, so all of my shapes are now arranged back as if they are fitting back into that rectangle. Okay, so just for a second, I'm going to move these shapes out a little bit just to give me a little bit of working room. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to stick on the bigger shapes. So that's my first shape. So I'm, I'm going to make sure I've put quite a lot of glue on that just to stick it down really well. And then the next big shape, so again, turned it upside down. Now I'm gluing on the table rather than on my paper because that's going to allow me to drop more glue on this. Now this time I'm not going to stick it, I'm going to leave a little negative space here. And just not stick it quite back up to the centre line. So I've added a line through the centre of mine. Okay, so now it's going to be easy to flip these shapes out to put them coming out of the design. So you need to really think about what side you're going to need to glue. Now for me, it's going to be the sides that I've drawn the white pencil on. And these shapes are going to be reflected so as if that one has just come over this side and been stuck down. So it might take a moment for you just to think about the positive and negative spaces. That is what is going to be confusing doing this piece of work. So you've got to turn it upside down and then work out how it's going to go down. Okay, so this is called a notion. So it's where positive and negative spaces have been used. To show you a modified version, if you would like to cut your square into slightly bigger shapes, I've got a square here, I've got a triangle here, and you could do it a little bit more straightforward if it was a little bit fiddly to cut or if you're struggling to think about the positive and negative spaces. Okay, so your design could have a lot bigger shapes on there. So good luck and I can't wait to see what you produce.